In this video, we are going to be reviewing Corel Draw Go. This is a brand new design software, and I recently made a video on Corel Draw. That's a full fledged desktop design application. If you're looking for that, there's a video in the top right corner. But in this video, we are just going to be checking out this new software, Corel Draw Go, and it's meant to be kind of like Canva, Adobe Express, or Kittle. So, Let's dive right in and see what this thing's about. Just do a little testing and I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like when you open it up. Again, I'm in the browser. I'm in Google Chrome right now. And pricing for this is about $8 a month. Just so we're all clear, um, that's how much it costs. There's a 15 day free trial, but it's not free. On the right side here, you can see we have a properties panel. And then below that, we have a layers panel. Pretty basic stuff. And then on the left side, we have a very minimalistic toolbar. So this is really just the essentials. And the first tool in our tool belt is just our artboard settings. You can mess with your dimensions, things like that. Underneath that, we have stock assets. So here we've got vectors. Uh, let's take this dog bone and just drag that in here. Um, and then they also have uh, stock photos from Unsplash, but let's take a look at this dog bone. I think it's a bit more interesting. So if we dive into here, we zoom in a little bit, you can see this is a vector graphic that can be uh, manipulated. So we have our anchor points here and I can mess around with this and I can undo that because it doesn't look that good. And then you can mess with the fill. CorelDraw has these crazy brushes. Uh, I know this looks crazy. Let me turn down the size. But you can actually fill vector graphics with the brushes, which is kind of a unique feature that they have in the software that a lot of people really like. And let me see if I can find one that looks cool. This kind of this doesn't look too bad. I'm going to mess around with this for just a little bit of time and see if I can just play with it. You can also fill it with linear gradients. This doesn't look too good in this particular scenario, but you could make it good. I'm going to keep it solid for my my dog bone but I like our dog bone just like this it looks cool with just a little bit of that fuzzy brush on the end another feature I want to show you is that you can import photos things like that I've got some vector files here so I'm gonna import this Grayson's graphics vector file this is kind of complex it has a lot of layers a lot of shapes to it I tried to import this in Kittle and it wouldn't do it I had a little bit more luck here. You have to kind of go through the process of unlocking your file and ungrouping a lot, but it is all there. So here I have it all unlocked. And as you can see, I have access to all of these anchor points like crazy. And I can change that. I can take this shape out and then I could mess and manipulate with this as well. Kind of adjust this shape to be a little bit different. And I could even put it back where it came from. So you do have full capability to import your own vectors into this software, which again is web-based. So that's pretty cool. The next one on our toolbar here is just like shapes and that's all right, you know, but I think what's even cooler is this draw feature. So we have three types of drawing modes. The first one is again, the painterly brush that I've been showing you. So you can adjust your size of the brush here. You can make lines and paths and it's going to uh, create a brush effect. The interesting part is you can then come back into your path and you can start manipulating that and you can change this path and the size and, and the anchor points and change your kind of brush strokes after the fact, which is really neat. Now the next drawing tool is what we've all been waiting for. It's the pen tool. So you can see we've got all types of different lines, dotted lines, dash lines, dotted and dash lines. Um, but I'm just gonna take this, I'm holding down shift, I'm gonna make a straight line, and then I'm still holding down shift, I'm gonna use my pen tool here, and uh, make a nice proper curve. And then the last tool here, just quickly, this is the pencil tool. So this is just a free form uh, pen tool. And you can of course change your thickness, change your diameter, things like that. When I was reviewing Corel Draw in my previous video, I made this logo called Corel Dog. So I'm gonna do that again here. So let's take our path that we just made. I'm gonna grab our path, I'm gonna grab my dog bone, and then I'm gonna hit a line and I'm gonna center align this. And now our last real tool in the toolbar, there is of course this um, pan and move tool here, but the real tool is the text tool. So I can do a little text on the path. I'm just gonna type out Corel Dog, there we go. And select this, and then I found this font. I'm pretty sure this is what I used last time. It's called Arvo. 
And now I have our text and I can just easily get rid of the path. You just grab your path and, and you can just hit delete and leave the text where it is. Now I'm just gonna change the size of this dog bone so it fits a little bit more of our text and make it a little bit smaller. Adjust, make some final adjustments here. And then I would say we're pretty good to go. Now we can export this two ways. You can print it, uh, which just opens up your print dialog box and print it on your printer. Or you can download it. They've got a lot of file types here, JPEG, PNG, SVG. You can choose your size, resolutions, pixels. And then on the left side, you actually have download a copy of the project. That downloads it as a Corel Draw file. And you can open this in the real Corel Draw application and you can continue to mess with it and refine it further if you want and you have those more advanced features. And one last feature, you can create outlines with your text. So if you just right click, you can convert that and then you can get in here and start messing with all of the vector points there to create some custom typography. That's what I was doing right there. And here's our final logo in Corel Draw opened up uh, just to show you how that transfers over. So that was a bit of a first look at Corel Draw Go, just to give you a little hands-on experience with it. Now, is this software perfect? No, it's not perfect. It was just released, and I would expect a lot more software updates to come with enhanced features and things like that. But I will say it's very impressive that they've been able to add so many vector capabilities and really the essential things that you want from Corel Draw into a web-based application. That's not an easy thing to do, and it's not something we see often, which kind of leads me to my next point is I feel like this is showing a clear change in the market. I've touched on this a little bit before. Clearly, there's a gap between the professional design software like Adobe Illustrator and Corel Draw and the novice design software like Canva or Adobe Express. Those simple template based softwares have their place and it's a good place for people who don't know design but they need things like flyers and social media graphics and think they need an easy program to create what they want to create. And Adobe Illustrator and Corel Draw, they have their own place too where professional designers need real tools to design things like billboards and signs and logos and graphics. And in the middle, there's a little spot right there for people who want a pen tool, but they want it at an affordable price. They want it without having to download a heavy application on their computer. And maybe they don't do a lot of professional work and they don't want overwhelming features. So there's a little gap right in the middle of the market for people who would like this software. And Kittle, I actually just made a video on them, just posted about it because they also released vector tools like the pen tool into their software as well, trying to fill that hole in the market. So if you like Corel Draw, you probably would like Corel Draw Go, and I would encourage you to try it out. I put a link in the description, and I'm curious to hear your thoughts. You can share them in the comments below what you think about Corel Draw Go, and what do you think about the shift in these vector based, web based tools in general? So let me know. And if you want to see more Corel Draw content, like I said, I made a video on that whole software. It's right here. So if you want to check that out, just click this video.